Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our midweek worship service. My name is BJ, and I'm one of the leaders here in Victory Quezon Avenue. Kamusta po kayong lahat? So tonight is the night where we worship God again, and I think it's good for us to invite yung mga pamilya po natin, kaibigan, or kasama sa opisina. So share the link, or you can type their names on their comment section. And also, you may invite yung mga uh, kasamahan natin sa ating uh, small group. And uh, as we continue, or as we start our worship service tonight, we will take this time to pray for people. If, the, if you have uh, any certain prayer request that you want us to, to pray for, please share it to us and post it in our comment section. Babasahin po natin yan. And later, uh, we will take time to pray for that, okay? But before anything else, I would like to take this time to invite everyone. Mark your, uh, your week, that is every Tuesday at 6 p.m. We have our TED Worship. Ano mo ba yung nito? This is Tuesday evening devotion. If you are familiar with our Saturday devotion, same din po ito. It's just na move po tayo every Tuesday. And I and I want to invite everyone, especially pag kayo nasa bahay, na manood po tayo kasama yung mga pamilya natin, yung mga kaibigan natin, so that we can hear God's word at the same time, worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen? And as I'm checking on our uh, comment section, uh, as of now, wala pa nagpo-post ng mga any prayer concerns that you want. So if meron ma kayo later, just continue to post it. And our leaders, even kami po dito, we will pray for it. Alright? So as we begin, join me in prayer. Lord, thank you for this evening. Thank you for this new day, Lord God, na binigay mo sa amin. Thank you for your protection to each one of us. Thank you for giving us the strength to go on, giving us the good health, Father, especially for those na lumalabas at pumasok sa trabaho, Lord. And tonight, I pray, Father, for our, uh, for our brothers and sisters who are in need of healing right now. I pray, Father, that you will be the one. You will touch them, Lord God, with your divine healing powers, Father, that you will remove or rebuke any presence of the virus in your body, Lord. And especially for those, Lord God, that's in need of medication, I pray, Father, that you will sufficiently provide their needs, Lord, sa mga love tests na kailangan nilang undergo. And I pray, Lord God, that in this season in their life, let your presence be with them, Lord. Remind them na hindi po sila nag-iisa, that kasama niyo po sila in fight, in facing this challenge in their life. And Father, to all of us, as this week, Lord God, I know na nasakit na anak po kami, Maybe some of us are facing challenges as well, Lord God. It could be in our work. It could be in a relationship, Lord. It could be in anything else, Lord. But look, I pray that as we seek you tonight, Father, and as we listen to your word, may it minister to us, regain, or uh, may you refresh our hope in you, Lord God, knowing, Father, na kung ano ba yung harapin namin, we can, uh, we can fight it, we can can able to survive it not knowing na magaling kami but we are convinced because of you Lord God because of the thing that you've done in our lives Lord that we are able to live a victorious life so maraming maraming salamat Panginoon and as we worship you tonight may our hearts sing praises to you Lord and may we just declare your goodness and your faithfulness in our life maraming maraming salamat Panginoon we just want to bring back all the glory and honor to your name your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So church, come on. Let's all worship God. For the grace that is overflowing, for your mercies are new every morning, we worship you, God. We worship you, Lord. Come on, let's sing this together. This is the day is passing the change is coming by your spirit it's a new season of revealing your word is true and you will never ever fail your presence will lead us this is the day Oh, 
the depths of our hearts. My heart and my soul confess God is my God. Oh God, you never fail, you never fail, Lord. You will never fail.
life is in your hands I trust in you, Lord My flesh and my heart may fail But God, you are the strength of my life My portion For you. Oh, we ask that you breathe new life in us, God. Breathe new faith, God. Breathe new strength. Breathe new hope. Let your light break through. Shake him. All shadows are lost, your light's breaking through, shaking no more, I see only you, all shadows Yes, Lord, we believe in that, Lord Jesus, that all things are possible in your name alone, Jesus. Yes, seemingly, there are um, things that we want to do, or things that we've, we're praying, and uh, parang, parang hindi mangyayari in, in, in our um, perspective. But Lord Jesus, we know that those things, God, are possible in your eyes. Nothing is too hard for you, Lord Jesus. That's why we surrender everything to you. All the burdens that we have. Everything that we have in our hearts that's keeping us away. Or um, um, uh, that, that's just really bothering us, Lord Jesus, in worshiping you. Take it away, Lord God. Because we want to worship you with everything that we have. We want to surrender and cast all our burdens to you. You said in your word, God, we only need to be still. You are God. And that we will hold on, Lord Jesus. Because you are almighty. You are powerful. And all things are possible in your name. And so with that, Lord Jesus, everything that we have, everything that we want to happen, we lay it to your throne of grace. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone will say, Amen. And amen. Come on, praise God. Wherever you are, give God praise. You clap on your own. Type amen just sa ating comment section below. And once again, good evening. My name is Billy, one of your campus missionaries here in Victory, Quezon Avenue. This is our midweek service. Please do invite your friends, tag your friends, and share our live stream as well. And as a movement, uh, we are really dead serious about this. This is our calling, which is to reach out to the next generation. Reach out to the future leaders 
of our society, which are the students. And as a movement, like I've said a while ago, we continuously endeavor to reach out to the next generation, to the campuses, disciple and discipline students, as well as empower them and equip them with what God has for them, the purpose that God has for them. That's why we stop at nothing. Okay, even in the midst of this pandemic, parang ang hirap, seemingly impossible things are happening. Hindi uh, natin alam kung paano tayo kikilos sometimes because online, gusto natin on-site and all. We will never stop in reaching the next generation because this is what God has called us to do. And we will faithfully adhere to this calling. That's why here in Every Nation Campus, um, Quezon Avenue or Victory Quezon Avenue, Okay, last year we continuously reach, uh, reach out to the next generation. This time, sa elementary level naman po. Pinasok na rin po natin pati yung elementary level. We don't want to wait. Okay, we don't want to wait for them to be matured enough for just for us to reach out to them. Okay, as young as they are, we can reach out to them and plant seeds and um, uh, preach the gospel to these uh, kids. That's why we are reaching out to um, Sif Guy or Child's Future Guided Academy Incorporated. Thank you, Miss Apple. Um, Naunood po si Miss Apple ngayon. Thank you for opening your campus to us to empower kids for life or the, um, uh, yung mga from kinder to grades 1 to 5. Empower them for life which is leadership, integrity, faith, and excellence. And also, we have um, new campuses. We're trying to reach out Don Quintin, sa may uh, Anonas area particularly, because we have resumed our services sa Anonas area. If you know someone, pag may kakilala po kayo na estudyante, na taga Anonas, okay, please do connect them to us. Okay, um, or you can message si Neil. Neil is heading our Every Nation Campus Anonas as well, dun sa area na yon. So please don't hesitate to connect them to us, to message um, us as well. And um, not just that, not just that, hindi lang po yung mga estudyante na reach out natin, even the educators, yung mga faculty members, the administrator of the school, okay, we continuously reach out to them. That's why we have this um, post-teachers retreat last year. Okay, some of the leaders nandun din, ayan yung picture po makikita ninyo. This is us empowering and um, refreshing uh, teachers. And um, saan pa po ba natin sila nire-refresh kundi sa word ni God, of course. And please do continuously pray for us. And to know more about our, um, what's happening in every nation, Philippines, let's watch this video. Even when the campuses remained closed in 2021, doors of the gospel continually opened in our midst. Here are the highlights of God's power at work in the lives of our students. Through technology, we held outreach events and inspired many students to share the gospel beyond physical limitations. These events were joint efforts between schools, campus missionaries, and students themselves. Last August 2021, we gather students across the nation to worship, pray, and encourage one another to pursue God's calling and purpose for their lives. It's inspiring to see next generation leaders rise to the challenge and lead fellow students to the faith. Over 900 students were baptized in water last year alone. We've seen homes and families encounter Jesus together. We've also seen student leaders serve the community in a time of great need. While our world is recovering from a crisis, the next generation is continually being used by God, empowered by His Spirit to be His hands and feet. As schools and universities reopen, we are excited to bring catalytic change to expand our reach in every campus. Thank you for empowering our next generation to rise above its challenge. Your partnership inspires their faith and fuels their passion to change the campus and change the world. On behalf of Every Nation Campus Quezon Avenue or Victory Quezon Avenue and um, Every Nation Campus Philippines, we want to thank each and every single one of you for um, holding the ropes with us for 
praying and for um, financially supporting us in reaching out to the next generation. Together, we will change the campus and change the world. And for our tithes and offering, let me read to us Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 to 8. It says here, As you go, proclaim this message, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Join me in prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity that you are giving to us that we can take part on the gospel proclamation, God, as what you've said in your word, Lord Jesus, that we can give, we can share the gospel as well through our tithes and offering. And we thank you, God, for the blessings that you've given us. We thank you, God, for the blessing of work, for the miracles, God, for the breakthroughs that you are giving us. And Lord, we claim all the more blessings on our way. We claim and declare, God, financial breakthroughs all the more. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You know what? Our center is open every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for you to drop your tithes and offerings. But we highly encourage for your safety as well. Uh, we highly encourage you to give online. Uh, QR code will be flashed in your screen if you want to give through GCAS. And also for direct deposits, it's being flashed on your screen. Please do give online for your safety because that is our utmost priority, your safety. And if you want to give uh, to missions, real life, or every nation campus, Quezon Avenue, please just do visit victory.org.ph slash give. God bless everyone as you give. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday service. We call it midweek service. At uh, nagagalak ako na muling makasama ko kayo ngayong gabing ito. Because last week, uh, I went to um, uh, Iligan to attend a wedding. Uh, maraming salamat kay Pastor Roel Layug who preached the Word of God last week. At sa mga kaibigan ko, bagong kaibigan ko, dyan sa Iligan. Uh, shout out sa inyo, Isagani, gayon din kay Zim, at sa bagong kasal na kaibigan natin, si Rene and Cheng Chua. Hello sa inyo dyan, maayong gabi sa inyo, sa Iligan, at sa mga kapatid natin sa Mindanao. Welcome to our um, service at uh, welcome sa Victory. We exist for only two reasons, and that is to honor God and to make disciples. Speaking of disciples, Alam nyo, hindi lang po tayo nagdi-disciple sa young people, sa professionals, or sa married. But also, we are reaching our next generation. Ito yung mga chikiting, yung mga bata natin. At because our movement, we put high premium on investing in the lives of our next generation. Naniniwala po kami na as young as they can be, mga bata po sila, madi-disciple na natin sila para po pag nag na sila, we will teach them um, to seek God's wisdom and malaman po nila yung purpose nila sa buhay and that is to honor God and to make disciples as well. That is why, sinasabi ko po, excited ako na hindi lamang po 3 p.m. ang ating kids' service every Sunday but starting February 6, magkakaroon din po tayo ng 10 a.m. kids' service. So mga bata, hindi na kailangan kayo maghintay ng afternoon. Alam ko, iba sa inyo, excited na kayo. 10 a.m. kasi may mga lakad, family gathering every Sunday. So, meron po tayong dalawang services for our kids. That's 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. starting February 6. So, uh, mag-post po tayo ng sign-up form sa ating Victory Quezon Avenue page. Kaya naman po, lahat po na may mga bata dyan, anak nyo, pinsan nyo, kapatid nyo, mga kaibigan nyo, even yung mga kapitbahay nyo, uh, invite them sa ating pong, uh, online kids service. Excited po ako para po sa ating pagbubukas ng another kids service 10 a.m. on February 6. 
So I would like to uh, invite everyone, kung kayo po ay nasa bahay, uh, please stand in your feet as we give reverence to the Word of God. It says in John chapter 6, verses 56 to 58, Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. 58. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the fathers ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Join me in prayer. Lord, today, as we talk about your word that uh, fits on our spirit. Lord, may we realize and may we truly believe matanggap po namin yung katotohanan na kayo po ang tinapay ng buhay na kung sino man yung uh, will be feeding on your words will live forever because your word gives spirit, your word gives life and that's the words of eternal life. Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, be with us tonight as we talk about your word be in our midst. Take your rightful place. Wherever we are, Lord God, I rebuke any distraction sa mga nanonood po sa amin at nagjo-join po sa aming worship service. May we truly encounter you, Lord, tonight as we listen to your word. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You may take your seats. So, good evening again sa ating po mga kaibigan. Happy birthday nga pala kay... Um, Kat Yang, alam ko birthday niya ngayon. And also, um, hello sa inyo, uh, Ojeda, kay Nick, and Ate Florence. Gayun din, uh, sa kapatid ko, Journor Isidro, who is watching right now. Uh, sa mga kaibigan natin, kila Vivi, kila Angelo Peña, kila Elma Moreno, sino pa ba yung mga nandito sa ating online. Even si Jaylin Panes, Kapitbahay ko po, si Bella Leyva. Good evening po sa inyo. Gayun ni kay Ala Aban and Aki Aban. And also, si Achi. Yung uh, ate nung kinasal natin last week. Achi Karen Dayata. Good evening. Nasa uh, Cagayan de Oro po siya. But they are joining us. Mga kaibigan natin dyan sa Mindanao. Welcome to Midweek Service. Victory. You are here. Uh, Victory. At uh, ako po si Jerome, one of the pastors here in our church. So, Tonight, we will be talking about the word that feeds our spirit. Two weeks ago, natapos mo tayo ng prayer and fasting and consecration. Marahil yung iba sa inyo, pinagpatuloy nyo po yung inyong pagpa-fast. Nabitin kayo kasi five days lang eh, di ba? But marami akong kaibigan na nagpatuloy, gusto nila 15 days, 40 days. At marahil din, perhaps some of us, after prayer and fasting, mas lumakas kayo kumain. Parang gaya ko. Para bang, lalo akong parang nagpunta ako nga, as I've said, uh, sa wedding sa Mindanao, parang sarap kumain. Di ba? Because we believe na etong pagkain natin, eto'y nagpapalakas sa ating katawan. Na curious po ako, ilang araw po o ilang buwan bago mamatay ang isang tao without food? You know, according sa my research, it is general uh, to likely a person could survive one to two months po, pwede mag-survive ang isang tao na walang pagkain. Pero yung mga nag-voluntary sa hunger strike, uh, namamatay po sila 45 to 61 days. So we all know na pag hindi po na tayo kumain, our physical body, our, our, ito po ang katawan natin, manghihina. Because our body needs nutrients to survive. Balance yan eh. Diba? May, cholesterol, diba? may cholesterol, mga bawal, mga protein, carbohydrates. So, eto po yung mga, merong mga pagkain na may vitamins and minerals para ma-refuel po at renew yung mga cells natin para malakas tayo. Bakit ko po sinasabi to? I know, we all know that we need food para po sa katawan natin. Diba? Di ba halata? Medyo lumaki po ako dahil parang uh, laging masarap kumain kasi, di ba, lately. Ang katawan po natin ay kailangan ng pagkain. Food for our bodies. Ang tanong ko sa inyo, what is the food for our spirits, for our souls? 
Ito pong binasa natin kanina, ang context po nito is chapter 6 of John. Ito po yung uh, nag-start po siya sa, um, nag, uh, nag, nag, uh, nagsimula si Jesus magturo sa disciples niya sa lakeside, uh, ver, uh, verse 25. Alam niyo natapos si Jesus? Napunta po siya sa synagogue in Capernaum. Kung ba gano'ng kahaba? Itong chapter 6, 71 verses. And also, if we read the whole chapter, nandito po sinabi ni Jesus that He is the true manna. Kasi nung panahon po, di ba, sa wilderness, yung panahon nila sa ilang, meron pong binigay si Lord na mana. Yung mana na yun nag-survive sa kanila, 40 years. But namatay po lahat ng kumain na yun. But Jesus is saying here in chapter 6, He is the true mana. He is the bread of life. And we have to partake the Son of the Son of God and also yung reaction ng mga tao. Later po. Excited po ako sa word natin. Tingnan po natin as we read, as we study the whole chapter 6 of John, we will see kung ano po ba yung nangyari. Si Jesus po, hindi po ito yung nag-preach si Jesus na para may outline, but it is a dial- dialogue, conversation between Jesus and His disciples. Kung baga, itinuro ni Jesus, ano ba ibig sabihin ng bread of life? Started with 5,000. Feeding the 5,000. Pinakain ni Jesus. Di ba alam niyo yung story nito? Kung kayo alam niyo, type niyo nga po na yes, if you know the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000. Kung baga, nagutom yung mga tao, tapos sabi ni Jesus, hindi po pwedeng pauwiin natin yung taong ito ng walang mga pagkain. What do we have? Di ba, a boy, meron siyang loaves and also fish. Ang ginawa, na-distribute yan. Pinagpray ni Lord at dumami at napakain ng 5,000 men At siyempre, hindi doon kasama yung mga babae at mga bata. So yung miracle na yun, ito yung chapter 6, and then maraming tao sumunod kay Jesus. They are attracted to Jesus. Tanong ko sa inyo, are these people following Jesus because they believe that He is the Son of God, He is prophet, He is a Messiah? Or could it be na kaya po sila sumusunod kay Jesus because meron silang gustong makuha. They want something from Jesus. Hindi po ako nagsabi niyan. Jesus Himself, sinabi niya sa verse 26, Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me, kaya naman kayo nandito eh. Para itong konteksto, habang binabasok po ito. You are seeking me not because you saw sign, but because you ate Your feel of the lobes. Parang it's just in context na kaya lang naman kayo sumusunod sa akin kasi nabusog ko kayo. Parang may ayuda kasi, di ba? Diba, sarap doon na, eto yung tao na magbibigay sa atin ng ayuda. Eto yung tao magbibigay sa atin ng blessing. Eto yung magbibigay sa atin ng kabusugan. And all people that time following Jesus. Verse 27, eto yung sinabi ni Jesus. Do not work for the food that perishes but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man is referring to Himself, ito yun, that Son of Man will give to you, for on Him, God the Father has set His deal. Bakit ko po binalikan itong scenario na ito? Because could it be that some of us, kaya tayo napunta sa church, kaya tayo nandito because we want something from Jesus. It's okay. Hindi po masama yan. We know that everything na kailangan natin na kay Jesus, at one point of my life, in our lives, lumapit tayo kay Jesus dahil may kailangan tayo. Dahil na broken hearted ka. Dahil nagkaroon ka ng pinasa na pangailangan. Nagkautang ka. Nahiwalay ka sa asawa mo. Nawalan ka ng trabaho. Na broken yung relationships mo. So parang you're, alam mo yung devastated ka, iniwan ka ng Minahal mo ng how many years? Gusto lang ka na ipaputa, Lord. Gusto ko na restore mo naman yung heart ko. In one point of our lives, we came to Jesus asking, Lord, breakthrough naman dyan. Lord, provision. Lord, promotion. Lord, love life. Shout out kay Rene at kay Cheng. Di ba? Natagpuan nila yung forever. Or marami sa atin, na-attend lang ng church because someone invited you. Tinag kayo, nagulat kayo. Mga kaibigan mo, tinatag ka sa online service na to. 
Welcome! We are happy that you're here and you're listening to the Word of God. We're happy. Because nakakarinig tayo ng Word of God. However, okay lang na pagbago tayo, we are seeking God's blessing. Pero pag matagal na po tayo, aatin tayo ng church because may prayer request. Pag natugon ni Lord, sa to say, ha? hindi ko sasabing tayo yan. Maraming tao, okay na yung buhay ko ngayon. Wala na akong problema. Hindi muna ako atin ng church. Hindi muna ako magpe-pray. Lord Jesus, tsaka na tayo magkita pag may problema na ako. Well, I've seen a lot of people nung may problema na sa church. Nung naging okay ng buhay, nawala na sa church. It's about relationship with Jesus. It's not about ang ginagawa natin dito is religion. No! We are here because we have a relationship with Jesus. My hope and my prayer is that we are attending our church because of one reason. And that is to honor God. That is to worship Jesus. Period. Hindi ba yung, Lord, pupunta ako mag-church ako? Kasi Lord, magpe-pray ako sa'yo. May pangangailangan ako, Lord eh. Katulad ba tayo ng mga believers that time? Sabi ni Jesus, you are seeking me not because you saw the sign, but because you feel in the lobes. Nabusok ko kayo eh. Let's go back to the word. Jesus don't want to confuse yung listener niya. Kasi that time, yung mga tao, nakukuha pa yung sinasabi ni Jesus eh. Pero the next teaching that Jesus said, whoa, it was a mind-blowing. Kumbaga, mahirap tanggapin. Kumbaga, sa isang pagkain, ang hirap i-digest sa isip nila yung next na sinabi ni Jesus. At maraming tao that time, they were offended. They turned away from Jesus because of this preaching. Original context ito, medyo uh, controversial pa yung statement eh. Basahin natin sa verse 35. Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Imagine mo, yung context that time. Pinakain ni Jesus yung 5,000 tapos bila niya sinabi, I am the bread of life. Literally, mga tao, what? Ikaw yung pagkain? Kakainin ka namin, Jesus? Ba yung nakita niyong context? Parang, teka, teka, anong klaseng katuruan ito? Because, meron po ako ng lamang story ng isang missionary natin. One um, new, new attendee attended their um, uh, outreach. Ibang religion po ito galing. At first time niyang marinig yung communion. At yung sinabi natin na this is the body of Christ that was Uh, wounded for you, parang eat it in remembrance of Jesus. Alam niyo po, yung bagong member na yon. galing po ito sa ibang religion na hindi na bumalik sa church because hindi niya makomprehend. Katawan ni Jesus, kakainin ko. Ano ko, cannibal? Ganun po yung literal. Pag sinabi natin kasi yung, yung mind natin na pang, uh, parang masyadong literal, may isip natin na ito ay simbol na lamang. Yung, bibiga, yung gagawin natin later, actually, we will be having our communion later. So prepare your crackers or uh, juice because we will celebrate yung, yung life or the body of Christ that was uh, offered for us. Later po, after the preaching, we will have our uh, communion. So yung tao na to, hindi niya makoprehend. Body of Christ. But for us, alam po ba natin ibig sabihin? Jesus, the bread of life. And what does it mean? We have to understand that as the bread, kailangan natin sa physical natin, sa atin po kasi, kanin eh, di ba? Pero yung context talaga, yung bread, ito po yung pagkain ng physical, gayon din si Jesus, is necessary, kailangan natin si Jesus for our spiritual and eternal life. Yung pagkain ng ating kaluluwa, hindi po yan uh, pagkain na nakukuha lang natin sa grocery. Because Jesus Himself is the eternal Word of God. Then, yung mga tao, going back to the story, basahin po natin yung verse 60. When many of His disciples heard it, narinig nila na sinabi ni Jesus sa same bread of life, you eat me, parang, parang whoever eat me will never be hunger. Anong sabi niya? That is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? Parang, teka, teka. Ba't sinabi ni Jesus niya siya yung buhay? Siya yung 
katawan at kakainin natin yung kanyang katawan. Yung mga disciples, tingnan nyo sa verse 36. Many of his disciples, hindi ito yung mga, mga bagong uh, believers. Disciples, it means, sa context natin, umaatin na ng church, na victory weekend na, maybe nag one na. Disciples na, they turn back and no longer walk with Him. What does it mean? Yung teaching ni Jesus about bread of life, about Him being bread of life, is too heavy for them to grasp. Tumalikot sila kay Jesus. Parang, hindi nila makomprehend yung, yung, yung sinabi ni Jesus. Nakakalungkot. Because some of us, nawawala yung iba natin kasama sa victory groups, niyayaya natin because they are offended sa word of God. Ayoko pumunta ng church kasi hindi pa ako willing isuko yung buhay ko kay Lord. Akala nila pag nasa church, kailangan banal na no. The church is a hospital for the sinners, for the brokenhearted. Huwag niyo po isipin na pag nag-church na ako, pag okay na ako kay Lord, marami ako nihayayang ganyan. At ka naman sa church natin, hindi na tsaka na pag okay na ako. Do you remember what Jesus said? Christ loved us and died for us while we were still sinners. Kaya naparito si Lord for the lost and not for the saved. For the, for the sick, not for the well. Yung po yung purpose why the church is here. Wala akong perfecto sa church. Wala akong, pagkisama nyo, mga church yan, mga, mga banal na yan. No. By the grace of God, we are still all work in progress. How to feed on Jesus? Dito tayo magpo-focus. We need to embrace this truth as we believe yung meaning po na sinabi ni Jesus. Yes, we follow Jesus. We abide in Him. Ang tanong, kapatid kaibigan na nakikinig ngayon, naiintindihan ba natin kung anong ibig sabihin that we should feed on Jesus? Ano ba yung food? Ano ba yung word that feeds our spirit? Ito po yung gusto ko yung highlight sa atin ngayong gabi. Well, According to psychology of eating, what we eat affects how we feel. Alam niyo po, katulad nga ni Billy. Welcome natin si Billy. Billy, thank you for being a great addition to our team every Wednesday. Makikita na po natin si Billy, uh, our campus missionary. Every uh, Wednesday po, nagkape po kami kanina. At feeling ko lang, ako lang po ito ha. Kasi pag iniinom ko yung kape, brewed coffee or any iced coffee, na na-energize ako, na-active ako. Hindi ba halata na active ako ngayon kasi nag-large ice coffee tayo, di ba bro? So, whatever we f- eat, somehow, it affects our mood. Right? Because what we eat doesn't just affect our physical health, it also affects our mental health and well-being. Naniniwala ba kayo dito sa kasabihang you are what you eat? Example, Kain kayo ng kain ng chicharon. May edad na tayo. Lechon. Tapos maya-maya, sakit ang bato ko. Siyempre, kolesterol kinakain mo. Nag- nag-manifest yan. Yung iba sa inyo, mahilig sa chocolate. Tapos sa taas ng sugar. Yung iba sa atin, junk food. Ako yan. Salty. Tapos, ina-expect natin na malakas yung katawan natin. Kinakain natin. Puro instant noodles. Wala tayong kinakain. Masustansya. What I'm trying to say is that We are what we eat. We are affected by what we eat. Agree ba kayo dyan? Kung ano yung pinapasok nyo sa katawan nyo, eventually, it will affect you. Same as, listen to this, same as with our spirit, with our soul, with our heart, kung ano ang finifeed o natin sa utak natin, kung ano ang finifeed natin sa sarili nating katawan o isipan, eventually, tayo po, ikaw po, ang kalalabasan niyan, yung pinapasok mo sa sayong katawan at isipan. Just for example, things that we see, ano ba yung finifeed, ng, finifeed on ng mata mo? Lagi ka bang nag-Netflix? Well, ako po nag-Netflix din. Kailangan natin kasi sometimes, di ba, manood, magbasa, makinig. Pero ang sinasabi ko rito, yung too much time in consuming, nunood ka lagi ng mga series, koromkom, Okay, mystery, mga crime, mga violence. Too much of that, may expect mo ba? Ang effect niya sa'yo, pa nagkukwento ka ng kaibigan mo, 
kung ano yung nabasa mo, kung ano yung napapanood mo, yun yung lumalabas sa'yo, sa bibig mo. Right? Kung panonood mo ng fake news, uy, namatay na pala si ganito, hindi naman pala totoo. O kaya, yung mga unbiblical teaching, mga UFO, remember kasi that time, may mystery pa kung anong binabasa mo. Politika, everyday na lang. Five hours ka nagbabasa kung ano na yung mga nangyari. Eventually, lagi po lumalabas yan sa bibig mo. Nasa utak mo na yan, nasa puso mo na kasi finifido, finifidoan mo yung mga bagay na yan. Eto, makakarelate yung iba sa atin. Mga hugot songs. Dati kasi, nung I remember before, nakinig ako ng hugot song. Yung mga iniiwa, mga broken hearted. Una, okay ka pa eh. Kaya pinakinga mo yung kantang hugot song, parang Moira naman, okay ako kanina, pagkarinig ko kay Moira song, pati ako affected na rin. Kahit wala naman ako pinagdadaanan. Yung mga kabataan natin, I'm telling you, yun yung mga gusto nila, yung mga nasasaktan sila. Hugot line, kaya naman mga senti-senti. Maharinig lang yung songs kasi na nasa isipan nila, lagi na pinakikigan. Sakit, iniwan ako. <laughs> Puro victim. Puro broken-hearted. Why? Kasi instead na worship song, instead na lilim, is it the safe or radical love, ang pinakikigan ng iba? Hugot song, puro broken-hearted song. Yung iba naman sa atin, mahilig sa games. May mga violence, patayan. Alam niyo po, may, meron ako nabasa na yung mga uh, convicted rapist, yung sa pag-aaral, some of them addicted to pornography. Kasi yun ang pinifeed nila sa kanilang utak, sa kanilang paningin. Yung iba naman naglalaro ng, uh, ng GTA, alam niyo po yun sa online, na yung mga magnanaka, walang law, they can um, steal. Yung game na ganun, yung po yung nasabi sa Amerika na meron pong kumuha ng baril, pumunta sa campus, sa school, pinagbabaril niya. Why? Because addicted sa ganito, na-expose, na-consume sa mga ganito. What I'm trying to say is that family and friends, kung ano po yung pinapasok sa isipan, paningin, puso natin, eventually, lumalabas sa buhay natin. The things we consume will eventually will make us. Alam niyo kung bakit? Nasa satisfy tayo dito sa mga bagay na to. Perhaps we are too consumed in thinking about those things, yung pinafeed natin sa isipan natin because we thought that it will give us satisfaction. Are you listening? Kaya naman yung mga babae, satisfied yan yung iba. Shoes. Mga lalaki, NBA shoes, di ba? Mga basket, basketball shoes. Tingin ka na tingin sa Shopee, sa online, sa, sa, sa Lazada, kasi feeling mo, nafe-feed yung iyong mata, eventually, yun na po yung gusto mo. Pag nagkaroon ako ng magandang bag, nagkaroon ako ng magandang uh, car, pag nagkaroon ako ng magandang uh, cellphone, magiging masaya ako, magiging satisfied ako sa mga singles dyan. Pag nagkaroon ako ng magandang girlfriend, siguro okay na yung buhay ko. Pag nagkaroon ako ng wife, O pa nagkaroon ako maraming followers sa TikTok, sa Instagram, sa Facebook. Marami akong likes. Binabase po natin yung ating satisfaction sa mga ganong bagay. Nakakalungkot because we are seeking for something or someone na magbibigay sa atin ng satisfaction. Yung parang sasabihin ni Jerry Maguire na you complete me. We are, alam niyo, parang ganun yung iniisip natin na may makilala lang akong tao o bagay makuha ko, it will somehow complete me, it will somehow will give me satisfaction. Kaya hindi tayo nabubusog. Kaya patuloy tayong nagsisik every time. Kasi dati, gusto mo magka-bike. Nagka-bike ka, hindi ka na masaya. Gusto mo motor. Nagka-motor ka, hindi na ako masaya. Kotse naman. May nagka-kotse ka, gusto ko dalawang kotse, van naman. Diba? Continuous yung paghanap natin is means hindi tayo nabubusog sa mga bagay na temporal because hindi naman design ni Lord sa atin na mabusog tayo sa mga bagay na material. Going back to Jesus, bago po sabihin yun marahil sa atin, we are longing for some yung mga relationships na pag wala kang partner, wala kang girlfriend, boyfriend, feeling mo, kulang ako kung wala siya. Di ba, hinahanap natin yung acceptance sa ibang tao, sa relasyon, sa pera, sa fame, sa katanyagan. Pero, ang pinakatotoong balita, ang pinaka-mensahe ni Lord ngayong gabi, 
Makikita natin sa verse 51. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Ito yung sinabi ni Jesus. So sinabi ko sa inyo, hindi matanggap ng disciples. That's why they turn away from Jesus. But here in our context, sinasabi ni Jesus sa'yo, sinasabi ni Jesus sa ating lahat, I am not the someone who will just help you uh, to get that satisfaction. Hindi ka lang tutulungan ni Jesus to get that satisfaction. But rather, sabi ni Jesus, I am the only one who will satisfy you. Ito yung message ni Jesus sa atin ngayong gabi. Sabi ni Jesus, I am what will satisfy you. Are you longing for someone, for something? Di ka masaya sa buhay mo? Jesus is saying, I am the one who will satisfy you. Jesus is saying, hindi ka talaga mabubusog kahit magkaroon ka ng milyones. I have a friend, nagkaroon siya ng one million. Pero sinabi niya, alam mo bro, pangarap ko pa nagkaroon ng one million, masayang masaya na ako. Pero nakita niya sa bank account, hindi siya masaya, pero inisip niya, Lord, saan ko gagamitin to? Sumaya lang sa nung nagamit niya yon to bless missionaries, to be a blessing sa ibang tao. Ang purpose po natin, bakit tayo nabubusog? Spiritually, because we encounter Jesus and Jesus is more than enough. Alam mo may kanta dati ng uh, lagi kong gusto pakinggan to eh. Sorry hindi ako worship leader ah. Parang sabi dito sa song na to, everything I need is in you. Para isip ko tama ba to? Pag nagpe-pray tayo kay Lord, Lord everything I need is in you or everything I need is you. So we have to think kaya ka ba lumalapit kay Lord? Because lahat ng kailangan mo nasa Kanya o dahil Siya ang kailangan mo, period. My prayer is that we will seek Jesus for who He is. We will seek the blesser and not only the blessings. Now, wag mo sabihin sa akin na, ganun ba? Hindi ba, hindi ba ni, gusto ni Lord na i-bless ako? No! God is able and willing to bless you. To give you hope. Diba? Yun ang pangako ng Lord eh. Pero kung ibabase mo sa material na bagay, yung pagiging masaya, yung blessing, kailangan nating saliksikin muna yung nagbibigay ng blessing at ma-appreciate natin yung material blessing na kalakip ng ating pananampalataya. Naranasan nyo ba? Ako, nagkaroon ako ng iPhone 6. That year, masaya ko. Pero every year, Napi-face out, iPhone 6, 7, 8, ngayon 30 na. Kasi nga, longing tayo. Gusto natin. Hindi tayo nasasatisfied. We are still longing and seeking for the things that will make us satisfied. Hindi natin, hindi natin niya ma- ma-a-attain. I'm here, I'm telling you, kung wala kang Jesus, kung hindi mo na-encounter si Jesus, lagi kang empty. Lagi at the end of the day, you are tired. You are sad and lonely. Makuha mo man ng yaman ng mundo, sabi ng Bible. But na-perish naman yung kaluluwa mo. Anong silbi nun? If you gain the whole world, that lost your soul. Sabi ni Jesus, I am the bread of life. It means that I am the bread of life means I am the only one who will satisfy you. Dami ko sinabi, pero kung eto lang matanggap nyo sa puso mo, ilagay natin sa isipan at puso natin, I am the bread of life. Jesus says, I am the one who will satisfy you. Not your wife or your husband, not your material possession sa laki ng savings mo, not your position, trabaho mo, that can ever satisfy you. Laging butas ang puso mo. Because Jesus is the only one who will satisfy you. And how can we be filled and satisfied? Alam niyo kung paano kayo mabubusog? Get your Bible. Read the Bible. This is what we means Now we have to abide in the Word of God and to feed ourselves with the Word of God. Gusto mo mabusog? 
Yes, maating ka ng, ng, ng service. Pero, Wednesday lang ngayon. Anong kagay mo ng Thursday, Friday hanggang next Tuesday? Paano mo papakain ng iyong spirit, ang iyong soul? Just open your Bible. Just read your Bible. Maybe meron kang app, meron kang mamahaling Bible na binili. It doesn't matter. As long as binabasa mo yung Bible. Nasa cellphone man yan or physical Bible. This is my statement that I'm sharing to you tonight. As we abide in Jesus, let's feed our spirit with His words until we're fully satisfied with Him. Yung bang gusto mo ka, pumunta ka kay Jesus, na-encounter mo si Jesus, nagbasa ka ng Word of God, hindi ka masa, parang kulang pa rin, basa ka ng basa ng Word of God. I'm telling you, as you read your Bible, as you encounter Jesus through the scriptures of the Bible, feeling mo, hindi ka masasatisfied because there are longing spirit natin. We are longing for more Word of God, promises of God. Yung bago po lang ako sa Christianity, pag nagbabasa ako ng Bible, kahit marami ako mga advices when I encounter the one situation in my life, kahit marami ka marinig na magagandang advice, iba pa rin pag binasa mo yung Bible. Nangusap si Holy Spirit, nangusap si Lord sa Bible, sa kanyang salita. May imbi, some of you, kinikilig pa kayo kapag may problema ka, nabasa mo, sinabi ni Lord, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That time, people are abandoning you. Pero pinahawakan mo yung salita ni Lord, yun ang ibig sabihin, kapatid, kaibigan, that we are filled with the Word of God. Nabusog ka sa salita ng Panginoon. Bakit? Because we read, study, and meditate the Word of God. I remember a story, a story of uh, Venus Ra. Meron siyang sinabi dun sa interview niya na na-encounter niya si Jesus because umaten siya sa church at, at na-experience niya yung love of God when she sang the song na I was lost and now I am found. Marami sa atin. It's not accident that you are listening to this message because pagod ka na in your own self. Pagod ka na sa buhay mo. Gusto mo na matagpuan yung pagmamahal? Hinahanap mo sa relationships? Hinahanap mo sa recognition? Sa social um, uh, relationships mo? But right now, tonight, we are lost and now we are found because Jesus is available. Jesus is saying na kung kailangan mo ako, ang maganda sa Diyos natin, pag alam mong kailangan mo siya, hindi siya magpapahabol. Alam mong available siya 24-7. Kaya naman next week, excited ako na meron tayong on-site service. Whether online tayo ngayon, next week ha, mark your calendar, we will worship God in this place. No pandemic can stop us. I will worship God face to face. Siyempre may wisdom, may social distancing. But next week, join us as we resume our on-site services. Praise be to God. Alam niyo kung bakit? Because the Father sent His one and only Son for us to be satisfied in Him. Let's read the word, 57. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he will also live because of me. 58. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread that fathers ate and died. Yung mana to, namatay sila nung kinain nila yon. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Alam na natin kung sino yung kailangan natin yung magbibigay ng buhay sa atin. Pero makiiba po yung alam mo lang at alam mo na available ba yung kailangan mo. Sige, example natin. Last, uh, we, last year, nasira po yung laptop ko. E pandemic yun, work from home. Nag-self-diagnose ako, nag-feeling-feeling marunong ako. Wala naman ako alam sa mga technical ng laptop eh. Dinayagnose ko. Tingnan ko paano i- i-ayusin yung laptop ko. Baka hindi na software-hardware na. So I know, after all my work or my bida-bida moments, hindi pala ako yung right person. Kasi alam ko may kailangan ako. I need one technician from Green Hills. 
para ayusin yung laptop ko. Now I know kung ano ang kailangan ko, ang tanong available ba ang kailangan ko. Same as today. You know what are you looking for? And Jesus is saying, I am what you need. Hindi ka nagkamali. Napapakinggan mo mensahe na ito because Jesus is saying, I am. What? Who are you looking for? Ako to. At hindi lang yun. Jesus is saying, I am available for you. Nandito ako. Available anytime. All you have to do, open your Bible. Let's go back. Let's abide in the Word. Study the Word. Meditate. Day and night. And as we are being fed by the Word of God, ma-apply natin ito sa buhay natin eh. Example lang ah. Kaya, as we wrap up this practical um, application natin, pag wala kang Word of God, ating ka ng Wednesday. Hindi ka nagbasa ng Bible mo from Tuesday to Wednesday. Nakarinig ka lang ng Word sa preaching. Halimbawa wala nga, may umaway sa'yo. Dahil wala kang binabasang Word, walang nag-feed ng, sa spirit mo, sa soul mo, Emotion na pairali mo. Inaway mo ako ah. Hawayin din kita ah. Eye for an eye ah. Ikaw ah. May ginawa ka sa akin, gaganti ako sa'yo. Yun ang natural reaction ng tao. However, pag ikaw busog kay Lord, you read your Bible, you are being fed by the Word of God, nabasa mo. Nasa, nasa quiet time mo. Love your enemy. Anong gagawin mo? I-apply mo yung natutunan mo kasi nabasa mo siya ah. Are you here? Hindi mo lang siya na, na hindi ka lang na, nagbasa. You believe in the Word of God and later you will apply the Word of God. Before, testimony not to brag. Dati hindi ako naniwala sa mga typing, generosity. Parang kulang pa itong sweldo ko eh. Dati yun yung bago Kristiyano. Pero, nung narinig ko yung about typing sa Malakay Triton and God is a generous God, naniwala ako. And I experience that as I give my tithes and offering, as I help people become generous by God's grace, hindi lang ito narinig ko, hindi lang ito yung nabasa ko, hindi lang ito narinipakinggan ko, but ako po na-experience ng faithfulness ni God. Why? Because I read the Bible, I apply it by God's grace, kaya naman hindi lang ito yung you just think, yes, naisip mo siya, pero dapat po, we will put it into action. Read, believe, and we will do. Yung po ibig sabihin ng abide in God's Word. Natotoo pala ang sinasabi ng Word of God kapag ikaw na mismo, ginawa mo yun. Sa hirap kasi ng buhay natin, feeling natin Kristiyano tayo. Amen? If you accept Jesus, I'm a Christian. Pero ito na Kristiyano, kapag crunch time na, example la, orange. Nakita kayo yung orange, diba? O apple. Ang isang orange, orange yan. Kahit i-crunch yan, kahit gawin yan juice, ang lalabas na katas dyan, is still orange. Why? Because he is, or that is an orange. Sa Kristiyano, pag ikaw ay tunay na wana ng palatay at disciple ni Jesus, kahit may crunch time, kahit na ang daming pagsubok, ang lalabas pa rin sa'yo, word of God. Yung pananampaltaya mo kayo, hindi tayo katulad ng disciples that back then na tumalikod nung narinig lang yung teaching. What I'm trying to say is that when we read the Bible, we believe that is the Word of God. That is the Word of God. When Jesus said, I am the bread of life, it means that we must read, meditate, and apply the Word of God. As, as you are listening to the preaching, you are being fed. Our spirit are being fed by the Word of God by the grace of Holy Spirit. Kaya naman, naitindihan mo yung sinasabi ko ngayon. Ako po, ako mismo habang binabasa ko yung word na to, the Holy Spirit is the one na nagpapaintindi sa atin. Feed on me, Jesus said. Kailangan nating magbasa ng Bible. Available po yung Bible nyo. Every day. How about this? Mag-commit po tayo every day. Pag, pag, uh, bago tayo mag-Facebook, read the Word of God, bago tayo matulog, kung gusto nyo, one verse. At alam nyo po, darating sa point ng buhay natin. Pag naging delight nyo na po yung pagbabasa ng Bible, masasatisfied na kayo sa presensya ni Jesus. Na kahit wala pang answered prayer, 
kahit may pinagdadaanan ka ngayon, kahit may utang kang malaki ngayon, kahit hindi pa restaurant relationship mo, kahit meron ka pang pinagdadaanan ng physical or may sakit sa family mo, you are joyful. Why? Busog ka sa salita ni Lord eh. It means, si Jesus lang sapat na. Hashtag. Jesus is only, we, only, only the one who will give us satisfaction. May mga missionary tayo, challenging ang buhay nila, pero busog sila sa salita ng Panginoon. Philippians 4:12 to 13. Tingnan natin si Paul. Sabi ni Paul, I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. Narandaman niya at naranasan niya magkaroon ng kasaganan at kahirapan. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Pero ang secret, I can do all things through Him, through Jesus Christ who gives Him strength. Kailangan natin si Jesus, period. Sa lahat ng ating pagdadaanan, gusto mo mabusog? Sa salita ng Panginoon, read the Bible, apply what it says. As I end, gusto ko lang pong i-highlight ano po yung ending ng chapter 6. 66, after this, many of His disciples turned back and no longer walked with Him. Would you imagine Jesus, pinakain niya yung 5,000, tapos tinalikuran siya ng mga disciples at sinabi niya sa mga natira, yung mga natira kasama yung 12, sabi niya, do you want to go away as well? Ngayon, napakinggan mo yung message ni Lord. The same question sa sabi ni Lord, do you want to go as well? Alam nyo, ang ganda ng sagot ni Peter. Si Peter, busog sa presensya at sa salita ng Panginoon. Ang kabusugan niya ay nakabase sa narinig niya kay Jesus. Question ko ulit sa inyo, bago tayo magtapos at magpray at magpartake ng communion, Why are you attending our church? Why are you attending Victory Group? Why are you here in the first place? Is that because you believe that Jesus will satisfy you? Or, kasi nayaya ka lang naman eh. Or, because every Wednesday, wala na ako ginagawa, kaya nanlinig ako dito. Or, kasi alam ko si Lord, sasagutin yung panalangin ko. Whatever your reasons. Masaya kami, you are here. But my prayer, hindi lang natatapos dun sa pangailangan natin at mga prayer requests natin na binibigay kay Jesus. Like Peter said, 68, Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Saan pa ba kami pupunta, Panginoon? You have the words of eternal life and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. So, I, I, imagine Peter. Lahat, luma, yung, uh, tinalikuran yung mga ibang disciples, si Jesus, tinanong ni Jesus, and Peter, Panginoon, saan pa ba kami pupunta? Naniniwala kami na ikaw ang nagbibigay ng buhay na walang hanggan. Yung salita mo nagbibigay ng buhay na walang hanggan. Ito po yung isang tao na busog sa presensya at salita ng Panginoon. As we learn to feed on the Word of God, this is my last statement, we will find satisfaction in Jesus Christ alone. Anong ibig sabihin nito? May answered prayer ka man? Wala ka pa bang breakthroughs? May pinagdadaanan ka ngayon? Pero, satisfied ka na kay Jesus eh. Hindi ka nakabase sa situation mo. Hindi ka nakabase sa pangangailangan mo. Hindi pa natutupad ni Lord. But you are satisfied in Christ alone because you abide in Him and you abide in His Word. And this is my prayer to all of us that we are called to trust His Word in all things sa lahat ng ere ng buhay mo. For His Word is life. Salita ng Panginoon nagbibigay ng pag-asa, ng buhay, ng katatagan at kalakasan for He alone has the words of eternal life. Let us pray. Lord, maraming salamat ngayong gabi. Maraming salamat Lord God dahil pinaunawa mo sa amin na kami ay narinito dahil nais namin magkaroon ng relasyon sa iyo Panginoong Yesus. Yung material blessing, yung answered prayers, breakthroughs, bonus lang yan. But ang ultimate motive, ang ultimate reason why we're here because we want to worship you. We want to trust you, Jesus. 
Lord, i-reveal mo yung sarili mo sa amin, sa, sa iyong salita. My prayer is that we will be transformed, we will be empowered, we will have a commitment to read, study, apply your Word of God. Lord, maraming salamat na bubusugin mo kami ngayong gabi na hindi lang kami natatapos sa every Wednesday or Sunday service, but every day we will be filled because we read the Word of God. Lord, as we abide and believe in God's Word na nagbibigay ng buhay sa pamamagitan ng Holy Spirit, Lord, nais po namin na hindi lang po kami mabusog spiritual. Yung pag-asa at pagmamahal na natanggap namin, Lord, teach us to share that to others as well. Lord, use us. How about, Lord, magta-text kami ng mga encouraging Bible verses, inspiring verses to our family and friends. We will pray for them using the Bible verses. Lord, sinabi mo sa yung salita, your words will not return to you void and null. It will accomplish, Lord God, kung anong purpose, ba't mo sinabi yun? That is why, Lord, Use us, Lord, to share the Word of God to other people. Yung mga taong walang pag-asa, walang buhay, walang direction, walang satisfaction. Lord, but first, here we are. Busugin mo kami, Panginoon, ng yung presensya at yung pagmamahal so that we can share your Word, your love to others as well. Maraming salamat, Lord God, for giving us this opportunity, for giving us, Lord God, the opportunity to preach the Gospel and to share your Word. Church, this time. Let's all worship God. Let's reflect on His goodness and His faithfulness. Yes, meron tayong mga prayer requests, but this time, focus lang tayo kay Jesus and let's worship God right now. Lord, that is our declaration tonight, and our confidence is found in you alone. And church, as we declare God's faithfulness and goodness in our life, we will remember the amazing thing that Jesus Christ has done for all of us. So tonight, we'll be partaking of our communion. Uh, we do this to commemorate or to remember what our Jesus Christ has done for all of us 2,000 years ago. And as you gather or you prepare your communion elements, let me read to you 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 24. The word says, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when He was betrayed took bread, and when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's hold the bread. Let's pray. Lord, as we take the bread, representing the body that was broken for us, we remember and celebrate, Lord, the faith, your faithfulness in our life. You're, you are the one who took the pain, Lord God, not just an ordinary pain, Father, but an excruciate, excruciating pain, Lord God, that supposedly kami dapat po yun, and yet you're the one who took it. And through it, Lord Father, you've given us life. And we are forever grateful 
for the love that you've shown to us, Lord. As it says in your word as well, that by your stripes, we are healed. And through that, Father, you've given us this life, an abundant life, and an eternal life that we can enjoy and just express, experience your presence in our life. So, Father, as we partake of the bread, may, you, may our heart will always seek to you. May our heart will always be reminded of your great love to all of us. Lord, we love you and we are forever grateful. Let's partake of the bread. Let's continue to read verse 25 and 26. It says, The same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let's hold the cup. Lord, as we take this cup, representing your blood, Lord, that was shed on the cross. As it says in your word, Father, that without your blood, uh, without the shed of your blood, there will be no forgiveness of our sins. And through your sacrifice, Father, we were set free from the power and penalty of sin. Thank you, Lord God, for this life. That through your death, we are experiencing a victorious life. And Lord, I pray that as we remember this precious gift that we received from you, that through the blood that you spilled over the cross, Lord God, may we always, Lord God, always, Father, keep this as what we are as your sons and daughters, Lord. Not just for our personal gain, Lord God, but may you lead us, Lord, to the people that they may know us well. Father, thank you. Let's partake of the Let's partake of the juice. Lord, thank you that every day you are giving us, Lord, the opportunity or a chance to be able to align to your will. Lord, I know that sometimes we are unfaithful, yet you remain faithful to us and thank you Lord God that what we what that, that what you've done for all of us may we always be Lord God a strong point for us to go back every time that we feel weak or every time that we feel misaligned to your will and church as the preaching of Pastor Jerome what he shared for me that one statement that what you you are what you eat it speaks a lot for me. Because, alam niyo if you are eating healthy food, it shows an outward, in our outward appearance. There's a glow, di ba, in our skin, in our eyes, and even our hair. And same is true as we feed on the Word of God. It shows an outward appearance in us. People will see a change in you. That through His Word, there's a transformation in your life. And maybe you are praying for something that God wants to change in you right now. Lord, gusto ko maging ganito. Lord, gusto ko maging ganyan. And yet, the question that I want to leave to all of us is, what are you feeding from? What are you eating? Is it the word that comes from the world? Or is it the word that comes from God? Church, this is our daily bread. This is not something that we just eat that gusto natin. But this is part of our diet as a believer of Jesus Christ. So Lord, thank you for your reminder. Thank you that every day we can encounter you through by your word, Lord God, that you speak to us. And thank you that through your word, we are able to just display your faithfulness and your goodness in our life. And Lord, I pray that for all people, Lord God, that we may encounter they may see, Lord God, this change in us that will compel us, Lord. Na wag lang ikip, apag imagyabang, but then it will compel us just to share it and for other people to experience it, your amazing love 
Thank you, Lord. Church, as we end, receive the Lord's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. This I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. So church, God bless everyone. Kita kits po tayo next week here on our on-site midweek service. Good night.